Okay, so how do you draw realistic clouds in soft pastel? Well, one thing I, I often see beginning artists doing is drawing or, uh, cotton balls in the sky. And that's kind of nice, but it doesn't really look very realistic. So, uh, how do we avoid that? Well, let me erase these and get them out of here. Let's talk about making realistic clouds. I'm going to choose a different color. I've got a very light blue here. Okay, now you notice my paper is already toned blue, uh, or a very light kind of bluish gray. But I've got an off-white, you might call it. You might call it a, uh, a, a very blue white. Here's, here's pure white down here. So you can see I've got kind of a bluish uh, tint to my chalk. Now, incidentally, I'm obviously working digitally. I'm working with uh, uh, Art Rage, uh, Art Rage 6, uh, but um, this is pretty much the same way I would I would do it uh, with uh, uh, with regular chalk. So, okay, so I'm going to block in my cloud shapes. Yep, I'm still in white, so I don't want to do that. I forgot to change my color back. Okay, get back to the chalk tool and get back to my off-white. Okay, so I'm coming in with just a nice blue. Now you notice I'm not drawing cotton balls in the sky. I'm, I'm just kind of scumbling some different shapes in. And let me get that out of the way. And that out of the way too. Let me shrink this down a little bit so we can see the whole paper. Okay, so now I, I'll, how much detail I put in a cloud is going to depend a lot on um, what kind of drawing I'm doing. If I'm drawing a, a skyscape where the focus is the clouds, then I'm going to go into a lot of detail and I'm going to really make those catch the eye. But a lot of times, and most of the time, when I'm drawing, I'm what I want your eye to focus on is what's down here. So what, uh, what I do with the clouds is uh, I'm going to make them subtle. I'm going to kind of blend them in. Now in, in Art Rage, you use a palette knife tool to do this kind of blending. So I'm just going to soften. Now, if I was working with regular chalk, I'd be using my fingers to do this. There are tools you can use to, to blend chalk, but... Um, Often I, I just really prefer my fingers, particularly because when, when I draw, most of the time I'm, I'm using lecturer's chalk, uh, which is very large and, and really soft. And I'm working in, a, in an, about a three and a half foot by four and a half foot uh, drawing surface. So, uh, so my blending tool is my hand. Uh, but um, there are other tools that you can use to blend. Uh, whether it would be a blending stump or, uh, you know, your, your little pinky or sometimes a, a, uh, a cotton swab, um, sometimes a little piece of chamois. There are just all sorts of different things that you can use uh, to blend with if you're working in a smaller, you know, smaller format. I'm going to increase this so I can just kind of soften those clouds out a little bit. Okay, so now I've got a, a nice little bank of clouds there. And what I want to do is I'm going to go back into my chalk. And I'm going to shrink it down now. So incidentally, if you're working with chalk and, you know, the, the stick of chalk breaks, don't sweat that. Uh, mine break all the time. In fact, I sometimes I deliberately break my chalk because I want uh, to have a, uh, a nice... Uh, you know, tiny piece to, to add some details with. So I've opened up my colors again, and now I am going to go to a, a slightly whiter. Let's see what that's going to look like. Yeah, a little whiter. And, and now I'm going to just hit kind of the tops of those clouds right now. Because... You know, I want the feel that the sun is way above 
and that sunlight is it's coming from the right side of the paper so that's why the left sides I'm leaving dark this down here is going to be in shade but keep in mind this isn't flat there's there's clouds coming out in front so we can we can add you know some a little bit of highlight here and maybe even down here let's just bring these out in front If you haven't done it, take some time to go outside on a, a day when there are you know, clouds like this in the sky and just look at the clouds. Uh, you'll, you'll see that they're not pure white. They often are going to be a mixture of any number of different uh, colors. Okay, so I'm going to come in and soften kind of the edges, but I don't want to, I don't want to totally blend away that white highlighting. So I'm just trying to hit the bottoms here and make them look a little bit more, you know, not stand out as much, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't want that division to be quite as, quite as stark, quite as obvious. Just want to soften it out. Okay, and then, um, depending on the time of day, you can add in a little color. Like if this were a late afternoon, then I'm probably going to add a little bit of uh, kind of a warmer reddish yellow into these clouds because they're going to be picking up that late afternoon early evening sun and so they're going to feel a little warmer and if you've got a real thick cloud bank, you can even come in uh, and uh, hit the bottoms with a little bit of gray, just enough to, again, to give that hint that there's, there's some rain ready to come out and uh, the storm is coming. Okay. So anyway, that is how to draw uh, just some more realistic clouds. Don't draw cotton balls in the sky. Uh, make sure that you've got some variety in the different shapes. Uh, use an off-white to start with and highlight with white. And if you want, again, a more of a late afternoon feel, then highlight more uh, with a warmer, a warmer color. Uh, but be careful not to go too warm uh, because then... Uh, you know, you're, you're moving into the realm of sunset, and that's a whole different ball game. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Jim Pence with See the Light, and don't forget to watch our uh, See the Light live every Thursday at 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 Central, 2 Mountain, and 1 Pacific. And uh, I'll be drawing live, uh, and uh, all you need for that are a pencil and paper, and we will draw together. So uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.